Hello, darlings. You've all heard of Marilyn Monroe. Some of you know Bridget Fardell. Well, now it's time for the cognac show. I said cognac, ooh, ooh. I said cognac, ooh, ooh, ooh. I'm a bubbly blonde, fabulously dressed to impress. My two closest friends from that show, which was in the 70s, is Carol Davis and Eileen Kirsten. So I'm blessed because they are the two best friends you could ever have. Wonderful. And I'm, I'm still doing theater, still acting. I have two, th I own two theaters in, in Hollywood. Do you really? Mm -hmm. Yeah. You've got to talk to my friend Deborah over here. She used to live in Hollywood. She used to live in Los Angeles. Do you like it here or do you prefer? That's tough. I'll tell you, once you go out there and you get the weather. <laughs> you can't and resist I, that, right? I, uh, I mean, I have a life out there now, but I have, I still have, probably have more friends here than I do there, but I'm, I'm, I'm a California girl now. You know? A California girl, I, I love I'm a California it. girl. In fact, in fact, when I lived here, they used to say, oh, Joy, you're so California, and I thought that was a compliment. I was like in my 20s. Now I know when they said, and you're in New York, you say, you're so California, that was not a compliment, but now I am a California girl. But when I was out here, I had a, I, I've done four Broadway shows. The first one was Grease. I did over here with the Andrew sisters. Had a great, had a great career here, and I love to come back. I sound like one of those. I'd love to come back, but I don't know if I could take the winters anymore. I like, I like wearing a sundress and sandals, long earrings. That's it. So tell me, tell me, what does an actress like you do in Hollywood? What have you been doing with yourself in Los well, Angeles and here in New York? Well, in Los Angeles, I said we have these two little theaters, or, and we produce there. And and I'm, a, and I'm also an acting coach, and I teach film acting, even though my background originally was, was stage. And there's a real fulfillment in working with young people and watching them grow and develop. So you like to mentor young actors? I love it. I really do. I have no children of my own. And I, know, I think, I you know, either. it was my destiny. I was supposed to be that kind of that kind of mentoring and I love it it's great I'm still acting but it's like my life out there is more diversified here I was only an actress and I was very determined and my was very focused so it's good they're both great I, I'm a, I, when people say what are you I always say I'm a New Yorker I don't say I'm a Californian your roots are really here you can't once you're here you're here I know your roots are really here yeah. so now you mentor young students that are getting into the world of acting and, and um, to take Woody Waver theaters in Los Angeles. They're two, they're 50 seat theaters, very popular in Los Angeles. And I teach out of 
the McCadden Place Theater is well known in Hollywood, um, and the Lex Theater, and we I do teach out of there, um, and I do private coaching for people who are doing going up for films, and I coach them, and it's 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 a great life. You know? I would think it's difficult though, because now in show business, especially for television, everything of these reality TV shows, it, it is a problem. What do you think about that? I try not to watch them, but I watch Dancing with the I Stars know, I, too. I watch them. I like them. I watch the Real Housewives of New York. I've interviewed all of them. Yeah. And it's very addicting. But you know, honestly, I think it's the same thing as scripted TV without the script. I mean, there's directors telling these people what to do and to even fight. They edge them on. Tell the truth. I mean, really, come on. Isn't that what's really going on? Right. It is. But I think for me. These young people are really training hard to become actors, and there's the the playing field is much smaller now. I mean, I'm grateful when I when I was working a lot, there wasn't reality, there wasn't any reality. Season. Yeah, so there I, wasn't. I was, I'm lucky that I had that when I was younger, and now you, they really have to want it because it's easy. You have to work harder, and I worked hard, but you have to work harder. You have to be focused. And, you have to be dedicated, and you still have to have some part of your life that has nothing to do with the business so you don't go crazy and kill yourself, you know? I agree with you. I, that's why I'm do, That's why I do this. I love doing this. I love to talk to people like you that are fascinating. You're a fascinating <laughs> lady. You really are. Thank you. Tell my audience, where can we go to find out more information about you and your theaters <laughs> and your mentoring where can we go to find out well, all this information you can, go to, you can either go to the mccadden place theater.com or joy rinaldi r-i-n-a-l-d-i.com is that your married name rinaldi are you italian french i got married the first time i was 19 tony rinaldi that's hysterical <laughs> from long island by the oh way oh my god Hysterical. You are a treasure. One more time, the website. JoyRinaldi.com or McCaddenPlaceTheater.com. R-I-N-A-L-D-I.com. Yes. Fabulous. <laughs> Give me a kiss, darling. Thank you. We'll be back in a moment, darlings, with more interviews right here at Etc. Etc. Pink Champagne Kisses. Be dressed to impress. One of a kind girl. It's been a Cry Baby Productions, darlings.